Hello, this is Andrew, and today I'm going to show you how to do a problem about bacterial process, either transformation, conjugation, or transduction. These problems are more or less the same, no matter what the process is. This is going to be for conjugation. So, they start off by giving you the HFR strains. The HFR is high frequency of recombination, which is when a bacteria that is fertile can pass its plasmid, its F plasmid, through the pilus to a recipient bacteria, and now that bacteria becomes an, a, an F plus bacterium, and it becomes HFR when it transfers its genome, which has crossed over or re recombine with the F plasmid. So we have the HFR strain, which is going to be THR, Azi, Ton, Lac, Pure, Gal, His, Gly, and Thigh. So this is the HFR strain, the first strain that came through to a recipient bacteria. Now they give us three other strains, which is just random strains that came through other hosts to a, or other donors to a recipient bacteria. So strain one is THR, THI, Gly, His, Gal, Pure, Lac, Ton, and Azzy. Strain two, Lac, Pure, Gal, His, Gly, Thi, THR, Azzy, and Ton. And the last strain is Gal, Pure, Lac, Ton, Azzy, THR, THI, Gly, and Hiss. So the way to approach these problems is that you need to start with a circle because a bacterial plasmid is a circle. So let's get a different color here. So let's say that this plasmid right here is blue. So you start with the HFR strain that came through. THR, Azzy, Ton, Lac, Pure, Gal, Hiss, Gly, Thigh. You know that this is the right order that the HFR strain came through because it's the first strain of the donor bacteria. These three strains here could be in any order. They could have broken off here and continued on here. It just depends on where the plasmid got nicked and passed through the sex pilus. So I will show you how to show where the F, where the F plasmid is. Let's get a different color. The last thing to come into every plasmid is the F factor. The F factor is what makes a bacterium fertile and can create a sex pilus with a recipient bacterium. So for the H strain, let's get a nice pink color for it. The F factor came in after thigh, which means that since each one of these is its own circular, circular plasmid, the F factor is right here. So it's behind THR, but it's facing ASI. So that means that it should go here. 
Let me draw that out so it makes sense. You have THR, Azi, Ton, Lac, Pure, Gal, Hiss, Gly, and Thigh. If the F factor comes in after Thigh, it's going to be behind THR facing Azzy, which is right here. Let's do the next one. After Azzy, so it's behind THR and facing THI. So that means that it would go right here. This is strain one. So strain two, the F factor is behind lactose and facing pure. So that would be here. This is strain two. And lastly, the third one. The F factor is right here, behind gal facing pure. This should be strain three. So you, you have to remember that this is between two bacteria who make a sex pillus, well, the donor and the recipient. A sex pillus is made, is made between them, and you have the F plasmid here, and this one has its normal plasmid. So at some point, the F plasmid is nicked, and it comes through the sex pillus. And at some point, the HFR recombines with this one, making its own plasmid, or it just comes in. So these three are just random bits of the HFR plasmid that came through to the recipient bacterium. And each one is its, is its own circle. So the F factor is always behind the first gene that comes through. So I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, and don't forget to like and subscribe.